Good morning. So we're here this morning uh, to introduce our, our guest, Dr. Zendejas, for the presentation of the Superintendent's Golf Scholarship winners. And at Hannah, we have 14 students who earned this wonderful award. Uh, one is not here today, so she's uh, on a task getting uh, even more furthering her education in Dallas. But the rest of us are here to join her this morning. And so if everyone will please join me in giving Dr. Zendejas, Interim Superintendent Dr. Zendejas, a huge round of applause. Good morning, students and staff, faculty, counselors, principal. Good morning. It's uh, my honor to be here today with a very special presentation of $1,000. Uh, the $1,000 uh, Superintendent Golf Scholarship uh, goes to 14 students from each of the high schools. So you were selected by a group of folks who represented the entire district, and when they read their, your papers, they felt that you would benefit significantly from the $1,000. So I'm very happy to be here to present those awards, and we will do that shortly. What I do want to start with, which is a message I have been given to all the students, is that many of us talk about doing things. Many of us dream about becoming something. And I know that the 14 of you, absent one today, have dreams and goals and aspirations that you want to accomplish. Some of those in the short term, some of those in the long term. And I'm very happy about that. I still have goals that I want to accomplish. Uh, most of my goals are now directed towards family and not more for myself, but for my grandchildren, for my children. But nevertheless, we have goals. And I tend to practice the fact that I don't just talk about my goals. I put them into action by thinking, how am I going to accomplish that goal? I don't want you to just talk about who you want to be, uh, where you want to go, but once you leave Hannah High School, I want you to really work hard to accomplish the goals you set for yourself. I tell all the other high schools that when I was in the eighth grade, I wanted to be a teacher. I also wanted to travel the world, and I wanted to become a writer. Uh, for many reasons and hard work and perseverance, I have done all the three goals I had set out to do. But there's still more. I want to do more, but I have to work. Even at my old age, I still have to work towards my goals. When I'm 90, I'm going to continue to set goals, and I'm going to work towards them, and I'm going to accomplish them. But you see, many of our young adults go to college, and after the first year, many don't make it. After the second year, others don't make it. After the third year, and some never graduate. Because there's a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges. And it's going to be your perseverance and determination that's going to help you overcome all those challenges and obstacles. And we all have obstacles in life. So when you leave Hannah High School to go to wherever you're going to go, make sure you remember that all the obstacles that come before you, there's ways to overcome them. It just will take some hard work, some action, some determination, maybe some patience, sometimes maybe some humbleness. And you know what? You're going to reach your goals. I can trust that you will reach your goals. Let me call out the names of students um, and ask you what you want to do uh, and where you're going to go to college. Aria? University of Texas, Austin. Neuroscience? Oh, very good. Christian? Very good. Let me see. Andrew? In Kingsville. Wow. Victoria? And we have uh, the need for speech pathologists here in our district. So think about when you come back, give us a call. Priscilla? 
Bilingual. Very good. In our preschool programs, always looking for teachers. So if you finish in three years, call us up. We'll sign you up. Okay. Jasmine. Biology, very good. Uh, and so what do you want to do with that major? I want to go to medical school and study dermatology. Uh, uh, study pathology? Dermatology. Derma oh, dermatology, mm -hmm. very good. Yvonne? Um, I'm majoring in social so I'm going to do I'm sorry, there's a cooler behind me that's making noise. Can you say it a little louder, I'm please? I'm majoring in physics and I'm going to UPRG. Wow, physics. Wow. That's great. So are you in advanced physics right now? Uh, I was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Karina could not be here with us. Vanessa? Um, I'm majoring in neurobiology and I'm going to Harvard University. Harvard, uh, the Stanford of the East. Because I went to Stanford, so that's why I say the Stanford of the East. <laughs> and in uh, Stanford, they say the Harvard of the West. Okay? <laughs> Want to be fair there. Uh, Matthew? Um, I'm going to be studying acting at the University of North Texas in Denton, so I will, um, for, and then, so I will continue my uh, degree and then hopefully Harvard University or Boston University here in acting. In acting? Yes. Oh, excellent. Um, uh, just to let you know, my son is a stand-up comic, <laughs> and uh, he started out in high school, and uh, he went to college. He graduated with a fine arts, and he still, he loves it. So good luck to you. Lorenzo? I'm majoring in neuroscience at the University of Texas at Austin with Ari there. Oh, very good. But you're not going to, you're going to, you're going to be competi competing with her, right? Yeah. yeah, let's see who finishes first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lauren? Um, I'm going to Harvard for NASA, uh, but I'm going to be majoring in government. Oh, policy at, uh, policy and government? Super, super. Guadalupe? Uh, to do what with that? Oh, excellent. We have uh, Madeline. All the way to Tennessee. Oh, very good. You know, I mean, what a wonderful array of colleges and universities and majors and, and opportunities. Again, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to talk about your dreams a little bit and put them into action like 95%. We tell our parents a lot of times, we're going to do this. When I graduate and I get my first job, I'm going to buy you a car, Mom, and I'm going to pay your mortgage, and, and it's okay. But what really counts is how determined you are to do what you want to do. And I know that all of you are going to have an extremely successful uh, career as a post-secondary student. I want to ask you that when you reach your goal 10 to 15 years from now, if you would please look me up and call me and say, you know what, I got $1,000 from the superintendent scholarship and I made it. I'm I'm on the Letterman show, and I'm you know uh, I'm running, or uh, I'm I'm a doctor. I just got my first job. I'm gonna work uh, in as a, an ambassador or field service or whatever you do. It's okay, whatever you choose to do, as long as you do it well, and that you're happy with it. Whatever career you do. Do your extremely best to be the best at it. Because we not only want you to showcase Hannah High School, we want you to showcase Brownsville Independent School District, and we want you to showcase our community of Brownsville and surrounding areas. This is a great place. This is uh, probably the country's, one of the country's best kept secrets. And by you going out there, you're going to, showcase a lot of the good things that are happening. So let's, let's get on by presenting the awards. I do want to thank um, Drew Brown, the lady in the white jacket. She organized the tournament and she got everybody and so 
She's a major reason why we have this tournament and why it's doing so well. And I want to thank all your counselors and teachers who have also inspired you to be the very, very best and continue to do that. Don't stop being the best at what you do and what you like to do. Okay? Thank you. So the first recipient of this wonderful award is <laughs> Aria Aguilar. <laughs> Next we have <laughs> Cristian Argüelles. Our next award winner is <laughs> Andrew Briseño. <laughs> next we have <laughs> Victoria Cavazos Castañón. Next, <laughs> Priscilla Hernandez. <laughs> now we have Jasmine Lee. Next recipient, <laughs> Ivan Lopez. <laughs> Followed by <laughs> Vanessa Lopez. <laughs> Next we have Matthew Rodriguez. Next winner is Lore Lorenzo Sanchez. Next recipient is <laughs> Lauren Sierra. <laughs> Followed by <laughs> Guadalupe Roque. And last but never least, <laughs> Madeline Brema. about it and I know that with your perseverance you will all succeed and we're going to be very very proud of you now we are proud of you but we're going to be more proud when you finish your education thank you Dr. Sunday has this part of a tournament that takes place that has been taking place here for a while uh, at BISD and for that tournament the winners earn scholarships the way that we win, the way that the district wins, is that we earn scholarships. And so those scholarships are being granted to students at all the high schools. And this is the time that Dr. Zendejas came over to Hannah to grant our students their, their scholarships, these selected students. And so these students will use those $1,000 in whatever way they see fit for their education. And um, 
we had 14 students, one of which is already in Dallas right now because she's uh, doing a very special assignment for, for Dallas. And she's gonna, her name is Karen Lopez, and she's going to be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader is what I hear. Uh, but she's also pursuing her education up there as well. She's going to school up there, so she's there already. Uh, that's why she's not here today. But the rest of these students are all honor students. They're wonderful students. They're Hannah Eagles that have soared high in all of their endeavors for a while, for a long time since they've been here. And so now um, this is a small reward that we're giving them that will help them in their endeavor of education. Today we are presenting $1,000 scholarships to 14 students from each of our high schools. Uh, this is uh, the monies recouped from the superintendent's golf tournament. This year we raised $123,000 and each high school presented us with applications for the scholarship. There was a committee made up of different representatives from our schools and they selected the top 14 students from each of the high schools. So today we are awarding those scholarships and we're extremely pleased with the caliber of students and their goals for the future. This year, uh, after 12 years, we recoup 123,000, which was the top dollar amount from the previous year. So hopefully next year we'll, we'll increase a little more because by increasing the monies we make at the golf tournament also increases the number of scholarships we can give out. I'm really excited and I'm really happy. Um, I worked hard on the essay portions of the application and I'm really glad that they got me the scholarship. I'm planning on going to Our Lady of the Lake University in San Antonio and I'm going to major in speech pathology so it'll more or less go towards my books or something for my dorm. Words can't explain exactly how I feel. I'm very proud of my daughter since the day she was born I've been by her side. Um, with the passing of her father in second grade, I felt even more I had to be both mother and father all these years, but I'm glad that I was given the opportunity to be by her side and, and attend so many moments of her life. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. Victoria, I wish you all the best. Just stay focused and you know your family's a phone call away. We're always here for you, and I will always be here for you. And I know you're going to make everybody proud. Love you, Love you too. Um, well, we're here at the presentation of the superintendent scholarship. Um, there's 14 of us. Well, 13, because one is at orientation right now. But uh, yeah, we're all excited to be here and very grateful to be receiving the scholarship. Um, so in the fall, I'm going to be attending Harvard University, which is crazy to me. Like, I can't believe that's happening. Um, but VISD prepared me for it, I hope. And um, definitely my education here at Hannah has paid off and my hard work here. And I'm excited to see what's coming next. I'm going to be majoring in government. Um, and yeah, it's been a good time here at Hannah, but now I'm going to Harvard. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> You're an awesome daughter, you're a hard worker, and I'm very proud of you, and um, I know you're going to do great things. Aww. Yay.